Good morning, Uncle Joe. The President, please be seated. The Chamber is now back in session. I would like now to give the floor to the civil party lawyer to continue the questions to be posed to questions. Boumey, the survivor, one of the three survivors from S21 office. Thank you again, Mr. President, says the lawyer. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Parti civil. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Now I'll continue my questions to the civil party and the survivor of S21 office. You already stated to the chamber that you saw female guards walking pregnant prisoners. And the question is. Where did you see the pregnant prisoners being walked? From which direction to which direction? Booming. Réponse. Mr. Lawyer, when I looked to the east direction, the canvas was propped against the window, and through the door, je regardais vers l'est. Il y avait des toiles contre les fenêtres, mais par la porte, j'ai pu voir des femmes enceintes escortées qui recevaient des coups de pied. Je n'ai pas regardé très longtemps. Je ne sais pas si ces femmes ont trébuché, se sont relevées. Je n'ai pas regardé très longtemps. Car in that direction. Je n'ai regardé que and très peu de temps dans cette direction. Thank you, so is the lawyer. Question. Merci. So you, how many pregnant women combien did you see and how many female guards did et you see? De gardiennes? Boumey. Réponse. There was only one Pregnant woman, and there were two or three female guards walking behind. Derrière elle, deux ou trois gardiennes, c'est tout. Question. Question. Can you confirm whether she was kicked from behind or she was hit? Pouvez-vous confirmer si elle était frappée ou si les gardiennes lui donnaient des coups de pied de derrière? They were female guards, so they kicked her from behind. Les gardiennes la frappaient. Because that female, that pregnant woman did not walk quickly enough. Parce que cette femme enceinte n'avançait pas assez rapidement. So because probably she was in a state of fear, as I was. Elle avait sans doute très peur, comme moi aussi. Uncle May. Le président, Please, intervient. you Monsieur respond Boumenga. only when you see the Veuillez red light, so that the interpreter can listen fully. Otherwise, the international judges and participants would not be able to hear Et what you say. Of course, you would wish your statements to be heard by both Cambodian people and the international participants, and both on the radio and on the TV, so that the whole world can see and hear what you said. I no longer have questions, Mr. President, and I would like your Honour's permission to permit Bu Meng to ask questions to the accused through you. I would like Mr. Bu Meng to ask questions to the accused through you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to give the floor to the next lawyer for the civil party, a lawyer for Group 1, Tisrina. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Jonas. 
Madame, Messieurs, Good afternoon, juges. Uncle Boumeng. Uh, bon après-midi, Monsieur Boumeng. I have some questions for you. Je souhaiterais vous poser Please, quelques uh, questions. Please answer briefly through my questions je vous to, through the time allocation de façon brève à mes questions. The civil party lawyers. Le temps imparti au parti civil Thank pour you. leurs questions. From the time you arrived at S21, you were tortured in order to extract your confession. How long de vous des aveux. were you tortured? Pendant combien de temps avez-vous été torturé? Booming. Réponse. Miss Lawyer. I am really not clear on the total period Je ne suis pas sûr of being interrogated. However, it was several months. Mais en tout cas, ça a duré plusieurs mois. Or several weeks, I think. Plusieurs semaines, je crois. But uh, being detained there from when I was healthy until I was so skinny, it uh, was cas, en bonne santé au départ, quite, hein. quite a long time. Et, uh, ça a duré longtemps, parce qu'après j'étais euh, très maigre. It was common when we still had full strength, but once we became weak, Et très souvent, then they would start to peel our skin. That expression means euh, they would start to interrogate and torture us. Nous devenions plus faibles pour suivre l'interrogatoire. Thank you, says this reader. My second question. Écorcher, c'est l'expression qu'on employait. On the 7th January 1979. Question, le 7 janvier 1979. At that time, you left S21 office. Vous avez quitté S21. And there were security guards from S21 office who forced you to go along with them. Vous ont obligé à les suivre. Do you or can you recall the names of those guards que vous and how many of them? gardes qui vous ont emmené et de leur nombre. Boumey. Réponse. Miss Lawyer. I cannot recall the number of the guards. However, I clearly remember that I was walked from Tool Slang que nous sommes allés de Tool to Slang the Chamkadong area. Uh, la zone de However, when we left Tool Slang, we uh, stayed in a house Slang, until it was dusk. Then we continued our journey toward the direction of Chamkadong. Route vers de I still cannot recall the number of the guards. I was so fearful at the time. I didn't know peur. where they uh, took me. Je aucune idée de où nous so I cannot recall the number, donc, but they were armed. De leur nombre, mais ils armés. Thank you, says the lawyer. Question, merci. And what about the names of the guards? Est-ce que vous souvenez des noms Do you de ces know their names? I only remember the names of the interrogators. I could not recall the names of the guards. Thank you, says this Rina. My last question. Voici ma dernière question. At that time, you heard the sound of the trucks coming in and going out, taking the prisoners in and out, day and night. When did you hear, when you heard the sound of the vehicle, was it from the east or from the west entrance? Please, can you try to recall? It's okay if you cannot remember. Ce n'est pas un problème si vous ne vous souvenez pas. <coughs> from my recollection, although I must admit I am forgetful, 
Mais je dois reconnaître que it was common for the vehicle coming in and going out. Qui arrivait ou repartait. However, I il était, il arrivait fréquemment did not que know le when véhicule arrive ou repart. the car going out. I'm not sure where it went to. I only heard the sound. Mais je ne suis pas and sûr de la direction. J'entendais le bruit qu'il faisait, c'est tout. A prisoner being detained in the individual cell, and the car sound coming from the front of the dual slime prison. Que le bruit venait, euh, du now, previously I thought that this is my last question, but now I have another question uh, based on a request from my colleague. Encore une à la requête de mes collègues. Says this reader. You said you heard the screaming of the victims, that is, the screaming of the prisoners at S21. When you heard such screaming, was the accused, the prison chief, was there with you? Quand vous entendiez ces cris, est-ce que le chef de la prison est à vos côtés? Boumain. While I was uh, sleeping in building C on the third floor in the common room at night, I heard soir, the screaming. Nuit, I think probably the screaming was a, a result of the person being interrogated and tortured. Train de de Did you Through me, it it seems that the screaming was echoing and coming Et from everywhere at the surrounding vicinity of Tulsa Prison. De la prison. Probably because during that time, those échos. houses around Tulsa were used as Parce the interrogation houses. De de But now all those houses Mais were gone. Aujourd'hui, ces maisons ont disparu. Even the house where I was interrogated uh, behind the building A, le A, outside the compound, à also disappears now. I could not uh, recognize it anymore. Je ne reconnais plus les That's lieux. all. I have no more questions for you, and Mais thank you for answering the question. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. Now the floor is le given président. to the next civil party lawyer. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges. Bonjour, Good Monsieur Boumain. Je voudrais Good vous poser les quelques questions Boumain. suivantes. Premièrement, vous avez dit all, que dans la cellule collective où vous étiez, room, il y avait des détenus étrangers d'apparence occidentale. Est-ce que ces détenus ont été emmenés à jour ou est-ce qu'ils étaient toujours dans la cellule lorsque vous, vous l'avez quitté Réponse. Miss Lawyer. When I saw them, they were Westerners, or we say Europeans. Oui, j'ai vu des Européens. They had des light complexion and blonde hair. Et des cheveux blonds. Of course, I did not know their nationality. Mais je ne savais pas leur nationalité. I saw them for only a, a short period of time, and then they disappeared. Après, ils ont disparu. They were there for probably two weeks, ils sont sont restés deux semaines, being detained on that floor of building C. Du bâtiment C. So after about two weeks, après, they disappeared, semaines, and I didn't disparu, know where they were taken to. On les a That's all. C'est tout. Merci. Vous avez indiqué que vous aviez vu des soldats vietnamiens en uniforme. Il n'y avait donc pas de doute que c'était bien des soldats vietnamiens. Vous êtes quite sûr que they were indeed Vietnamese soldiers, beyond doubt. Boumain. Réponse. Uh, let me tell you, Miss Lawyer. Those Vietnamese soldiers 
Because they wore a different uniform, military uniform, different uh, from the Khmer Rouge uh, military uniform. Their uniform was similar to the Chinese soldier uniform. They had like khaki color. La couleur de cet uniforme était. And les, they had their rank euh, display. And they il y avait une, wore the types une, of helmet. Un, ils portaient un, un certain type. That what de, led to my conclusion. Le casque. That's all. Et ceci m'a conduit à cette conclusion, ces différents éléments. Voilà. Je vous repose cette question parce que je trouve qu'il y a une ambiguïté, ou c'est moi qui ai mal compris, dans la réponse. C'est-à-dire savoir si ces soldats vietnamiens étaient des prisonniers qui auraient eu pu garder leur uniforme ou ils étaient en choc, ou si ces soldats vietnamiens auraient été aux côtés des Khmer Rouges, des gardiens ou des organisateurs de la prison. Bon, Maître, c'est ici mon point de vue personnel. They were real à savoir, soldiers. They were not a fake. Vrais soldats. So, it was the real il s'agissait bien d'uniformes militaires, bien que certains uniformes étaient quelque peu élimés. Voilà. Vous confirmez alors que ces soldats n'avaient pas le statut de prisonniers I was wondering. Je me demandais si, par exemple, lorsque Kangak Elias a dit que quand vous y avez été envoyé, the enemy, regardless you were civilian or soldiers. You were all regarded as the enemy. Que, que vous soyez civil ou soldat, vous étiez de toute façon considéré comme ennemi. C'est ce que Kangakiv Alas Duke a dit. Pardon. Par ailleurs, vous avez indiqué que euh, vous voyez un certain nombre de gardiens qui avaient 15 ou 16 ans, c'est-à-dire des adolescents. Est-ce que vous avez vu des gardiens encore enfants, plus jeunes, de l'ordre de 10 ans. Réponse. Any guards uh, who were 15 or under, unless I was uh, mistaken. Usually they were 15 or above. D'habitude, ils avaient au moins 15 ans. That was through my observation at the time. C'est par rapport à ce que j'ai pu observer à l'époque. Voilà, c'est tout. Merci. Enfin, je voudrais vous poser deux questions personnelles. Est-ce que vous vous en voulez en fait? d'avoir un jour signé les aveux que vous étiez obligé de signer à cause de la contrainte alors que vous saviez que ces aveux étaient faux. Réponse, maître. Emotion was mixed. Au moment de ces événements, j'avais différents types d'émotions. J'étais à, à la fois apeuré, j'étais inquiet. Je ne 
peux pas so décrire les émotions qui m'animaient à ce donc j'ai fait ce qu'on m'a ordonné de faire. Because there was absolutely no reason Car for them to suspect me to be a CIA il n'y avait or KGB aucune raison agent. de leur part à me soupçonner que j'étais agent de la CIA. Some prisoners, when they were tortured and interrogated, they confessed, and finally they were taken and smashed. But for me, I was different. Mais pour moi, dans mon cas, I, of course, physically, I signed the confession, but inside my heart, ces aveux, I, of course, mais did not approve the confession. Bien évidemment, euh, moi, je n'ai pas approuvé le contenu de ces aveux. Je crois que personne ne met ça en doute. Et je voulais vous poser sure une autre question. Est-ce que même au sein de l'atelier, entre peintres, Within sculpteurs, workshop, artistes, est-ce que vous évoquiez parfois les tortures dont les uns et les autres vous aviez été l'objet et les aveux qu'en fait les uns et les autres euh, vous aviez dû passer Boumey, réponse. Miss Lawyer, Maître. I never talked about that. Je n'ai jamais parlé de is cela. Because I was scared. Et pourquoi Parce que j'avais peur. Usually there were two or three Habitude, il y avait prison deux guards ou trois gardes who were there constantly. qui étaient and constamment the présents. Was locked. Et Both la inside and outside. À la fois, de so here we whispered or chit-chatted on si this thing, then it, it's, a, it's so risky. Ou à parler à voix basse, on prenait vraiment et on aurait vraiment pris des risques. Enfin, comment vous vivez aujourd'hui le fait d'être un survivant How do you feel about the fact that you are a survivor I am so delighted that now my chest seems to be lighter. de pouvoir me libérer de ce poids. All to my statements to toutes les the judges and to the lawyers, the témoignages, the rest. I felt much better now, and I believed through peace and justice ont été would be done sont là maintenant. for those et je one que point soit eight or two million people who lost their lives during that regime. Million, and million de I myself de, too, I euh, was a victim and the scope sont, of suffering was incalculable. L'envergure de la souffrance en durée était inimaginable. J'ai failli perdre la vie. J'ai été grièvement blessé. Carry out my profession, painting the portraits to satisfy the chief of the prison. But it was shameful that I could not save the life of my wife. Mais malheureusement, je n'ai pu sauver la vie de ma femme. I'm not sure if it was my mistake or not, si and I really want to ask the accused. Non, de mon erreur. Where Et je veux was my wife poser killed? Cette question à if I know where it is, then I would go there, tuée. take the rest of the si bone in order to tuée, pray je me for sur her place soul. À cet endroit-là, et je recueillerai les restes, et je And that I am now being testified before the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia. Au sein des tribunaux cambodgiens. Only the spirit of the earth would know les where de la terre the soul has gone through or where the dead bodies were buried. So only the spirits enfouis. of the wind, of the water, and of the earth du vent, would know. De tous ces esprits-là savent. So. 
and for those who kills the people they could tell the truth or they could lie but only the spirits of the earth the wind mentir. Mais seuls the water, les esprits de la terre, du vent, de l'eau, savent so that I could pray où ma femme soul. est morte et où son cadavre repose. Et j'aimerais savoir où cet endroit se trouve de manière à ce que son âme puisse reposer en paix. Voilà, c'est tout. Merci, M. Boumang. M. le Président, c'est à vous que je voudrais faire une demande de la part de l'ensemble des groupes des partis civils. Nous souhaiterions pouvoir avoir 10 minutes de plus, car nous sommes quand même 7 avocats présents. Nous représentons 90 victimes qui, en ayant toutes... Euh, si on fait un partage du temps, ça nous ferait une demi-minute par victime, ce n'est pas tellement le point pour mais nous avons des questions qui semblent légitimes à poser. Et heureusement, M. le Président, depuis hier, vous interprétez largement le temps qui nous est imparti, car sinon, malgré nos efforts aux uns et aux autres, nous dépassons les 40 minutes, et ce souci du temps nous, nous crée des, des, des problèmes d'organisation. Si nous savions qu'en cas de nécessité, nous avions 10 minutes de plus, eh bien, je pense que cela nous permettra un travail plus harmonieux. Merci, le Président. Oui, Monsieur le Président, si vous me permettez, éventuellement, Mr. President, si un temps says Mrs. Canizares, if extra time were to be granted to the representatives of the civil parties, would it be possible to have extra time, if necessary, for the defense to ask questions? In order not to complicate the matter, afin de ne pas compliquer les choses, regarding the request by both sides, de la demande des deux parties, and the civil party lawyers use the time as allocated by the chamber. Le, le However, the chamber will not allow extra time, and the time has run out already. Désormais, now, I would give the opportunity to the survivor, Boumain. Uncle Boumain, do you have any questions that you would like to ask the accused at the moment? Une question. Boumain. Ah, Monsieur Boumain. Monsieur Boumain, avez-vous des une question à l'accusé? I would like to ask him le Président, je where lui demander did he smash my wife, whether it was at Tulsa si or Chunai or at another ou location ou dans un autre endroit. that you had the authority to relocate her or to smash her. It has been so many years already. I went to her native village in Kampong Mom district in Kampong Cham province. I went to ask her and her sibling whether my wife has ever returned to the village, and the response was no. So I presumed that she was killed while she was detained. And my question is, just to tell me, just to tell me where she was killed or smashed. Then I would go to that location and just to get the soul from that location to pray for her soul. Because there was the document at the Essen One office. I used to have uh, some documents as well, but uh, some of the documents I have uh, have uh, lost or missing. Mais certains, j'ai vu certains documents, mais d'autres documents sont. And I want the matter to be done legally. Et j'aimerais que les choses soient faites juridiquement dans les règles. Can you verify that your wife who was detained at S21 with you, her name was Majun Elias T. Is that correct? That is correct, Mr. President. That is correct, Mr. President. That is correct, Mr. President. The President, Mr. Kang Gek Il, alias Duke. 
The first question is, la première question est do la you suivante. Connaissez-vous Mayun, know her, alias T, could you si answer pourriez to his question that when you were the chairman of S21 and that uh, his wife was uh, taken away to be executed, que, where was she killed? In Phnom Penh or à Phnom Penh at Chung Aik? The accused, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me the opportunity to respond to the question. La possibilité de répondre à cette question. Mr. Meng. Monsieur Meng. Especially for you, I ha I have been moved. Surtout We have lived together and you were healthy and I was shocked to Nous see you on the 28th santé. of February 2008 before the co-investigating judges. Le 28 I would 2008 like to respond to your desire, but it was beyond my capacity because euh, this work done by my subordinates, but I would like to presume that your wife might have been killed at Bang Chung Aik. And uh, meanwhile, Chung to be sure, I would like to ask certain, you to please de ask Comrade Hui, who may be able to Roy, tell you further detail about the fate of your wife, please accept my highest assurance of my regards and uh, respect towards the soul of your wife. That's all. Mes respect à l'âme de votre femme. Voilà ma réponse. The president, the accused. Please control Président, your emotion je vous invite and recompose de vos émotions because et à reprendre the vos moment je ici is accusé, important that it takes time to listen to the testimony of the survivors who have survived the regime and to recall the past. Qui vécu au régime et qui se remémore du passé. So, Angkor Booming, I hope you have already been told Le by the accused about the fate of your wife uh, because his conclusion is that uh, she could have been killed at Bung Jung Aik. Uh, especially when it comes Aik. to the time when she was sent in. Uh, during the year of 1977. De at the beginning, the killing would take um, place only at uh, the premises of uh, Tuol's compound, uh, and later on, les exécutions avaient lieu directement à proximité after du 78, uh, excuse me, 77 to 78, uh, then the oh, execution site uh, had been shifted to Chun So it le site could be a été possible that uh, the faith Aik, of your wife would be que votre femme ended uh, there at uh, Chun Aik, uh, or she would uh, be killed there. And uh, to get further information, it is rather difficult because Il the people who perished amounted to more than 12,000. And those more than 12,000 were registered and there were still numbers of Detainees who are still unaccounted for. At the beginning, we rien know that uh, there would have been uh, 12,300 or something pour le moins detainees. Il de but after personnes. inspecting the list and compared with other lists, then 
lorsque l'on compare les listes et numbers uh, uh, different numbers of the people killed uh, during à, à, Uh, their time, but I think the actual number of people who would have been killed would be even higher si if all documents could be supported. Si uh, Next, the accused besides uh, your response to Uncle Boumé, one of the survivors who asked you about uh, the fate of his Wife, demander the chamber would like to also know femme. whether the accused La would like to make any comments or observations, si testimony concerning de son uh, the remarks or testimony of Uncle Boumé. So you are now given the opportunity to do so la partie civile. if you would wish. Nous vous en à présent la possibilité, si vous le souhaitez. The accused, Mr. President. L'accusé, Monsieur le Président, tout d'abord. I would like to confirm to Je souhaiterais Mr. Booming and the other victims. À Monsieur he Booming et aux autres victimes. Asking what kind of mistakes he had uh, committed. Il what a kind of à plusieurs reprises mistake his wife had uh, committed that led to his uh, their arrest. Il avait commis Frankly, sa femme se demandait during that sorte time, de faute elle I avait already, I think uh, yesterday I told uh, Brother May already. C'est ce que j'ai dit à, à Monsieur May hier. Anyone who opposed them would Toutes be les single. Out Tous les as opposants the CIA, the KGB, or the expansionists, des membres des expansionistes so on de and so forth. KGB, so I would etc. like just to re repeat it etc. and to be more precise. Cela. I would like Et to say that uh, the cultural revolution of China uh, would be la Chine seen as the pourrait être reference. Considéré comme Although Pol Pot uh, did not follow exactly that Pol kind Pot of uh, philosophy, he used his own improvised uh, theory, pas suivi à la lettre, so de he would uh, implicate Il anyone as an uh, enemy. And I told uh, Brother May already about uh, the CIA. He asked me whether CIA or KGB May, agents have already been smashed. Uh, and I told him that anyone who opposes the uh, uh, Pol Pot uh, uh, were those who Pot, uh, uh, have uh, defeated the Pol Pot regime. And um, after all, était, um, the fascist political um, uh, politics ended on uh, January 1979. So the reason why people were implicated as enemies or Uh, opponents, this led to the destruction of the whole regime. And I would like to emphasize again that this crime is so severe, although it was committed by the upper echelon, but members of the party were part of the process all across the country, because more than one million people uh, were executed and Uh, emotionally, I am responsible for all the crimes, uh, although it were, uh, they were committed by the senior people. Aussi été commis par I am responsible dirigeants. in the eyes Je of the law, and I now would like to be tried uh, by the ECCC alone, then I don't want my subordinates to be Je ne veux pas que mes on trial too. And uh, eux aussi I have already dedicated, uh, I have already prayed uh, for the souls of the dead people to rest in peace. I'm not talking uh, here to evade uh, uh, the responsibility of Je my crimes, but I want to reveal my frankness. That's all. Mais je voulais 
the president en next toute franchise, we would like hein. to give the floor voilà. to the defense le council nous souhaiterions donner la parole au conseil de la défense afin de leur permettre de poser des questions Booming, à monsieur Boumeng one of the survivors of S21 de S21 the floor is yours je vous en prie si vous souhaitez so. poser vos questions Mr Carsabot thank you Mr Monsieur President Carsabot, je vous remercie monsieur le président Your honors my question here are first i would like Mes questions sont les suivantes tout d'abord Mr. Booming, to clarify some on some points because I have been ambivalent regarding those points. When you were detained at S21, lorsque vous avez été détenu à S21, did you hear the cries, que vous pouviez, que vous pouviez the beeps or screams of uh, people in the compound? Les cris des because uh, this dans morning, complexe, before we matin, adjourned for lunch, la pause you déjeuner, said that there were full. Uh, everyone was quiet uh, and que, que, que people calme, could not even whisper to one another. So I think your testimony in the morning seems to be contradictory to your testimony in the afternoon. Could you please repeat or uh, uh, confirm your both testimonies? Mr. Boumeng, I said it was very quiet because the doors were all shut when I left. Toutes les portes Evacuated. I did not have a chance to look inside the room because I were at the moment du départ. I were was walked away at gunpoint and I was not brave enough to uh, even look back to see how many people would be in the room. That's why I said it was quiet. And I think uh, regarding uh, the screams, the cries, uh, I knew that my ears were too good uh, to listen to those uh, uh, noises because I was also a very good artist. Having heard the sound, I could even draft or sketch a kind of portrait. So uh, I think I was not mistaken to hear those screams uh, during the time when I was detained. Mr. Casabot, thank you. Could you please emphasize again? You said that before the morning break, uh, you said that uh, there, the building was full of people. And you said that the building was full of detainees, but it was so quiet because people could not even whisper into the ears of the neighbors. But how could you say that you heard the screams, the cries that people cried for help? I don't want you to tell us about the time when you were about to leave. Je ne fais pas référence ici au moment où vous avez été forcé de quitter S21. Réponse. I would like to state that uh, when I was at inside the detention center, uh, uh, around the compound, there were a lot of complexe, interrogating houses. De maisons où étaient, and uh, inside qui the room, of course, you could not hear anyone salles, scream or cry because we would be punished. But I'm talking about the people who would be taken away to be interrogated inside those houses and we could hear maisons. from the houses and not here to talk and to implicate anyone. I'm talking here right uh, before the iron journey and if I talk something uh, 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 exaggerating anything then I would be uh, run over by a bus. Um, Thank you, Mr. Carswood. I would like je you to only confirm. Number two, je vous I would like je your confirmation also. Je you said the subordinates of Deutsch who uh, treated the Vietnamese 
prisoner who uh, did not uh, keep his promise that he was a scouter and that you said the order uh, his subordinate to kick Et vous avez dit que Duke uh, uh, a ordonné les him. subordonnés à le torturer. Mais plus tard, vous avez dit que Duke n'était pas là au moment où uh, ses subordonnés uh, so l'ont torturé. Pouvez-vous donc nous dire si, oui ou non, Duke a été là au moment où ces actes de torture ont eu lieu My memory is not good, and I said clearly that it is because I have had been severely tortured. C'est parce que j'étais torturé. And uh, I don't want to uh, 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 evade uh, any responses. Uh, but uh, if I made any questions. mistake in my testimony, si it is resulted from the very poor memory uh, of mine. Ma uh, resulted, of course, from. Uh, such a torture. So torture I think uh, my memory is now about 20, 10 to 20% good uh, compared to the 100% uh, I could uh, have had uh, previously. De ce était, euh, jadis. The President, Uncle Ming, could you please control your emotion? Ming, I know uh, that you have been bombarded uh, with à, questions à, and you have been answering to those questions for almost uh, the whole day already. We would journée. like you to please recompose yourself. Uh, and uh, the question is implied uh, de as... De à la question qui était posée. Have you... Heard, uh, la question était celle-ci. Est-ce que vous avez entendu Duc donner l'ordre à ses subordonnés de frapper ce prisonnier vietnamien Certains disent que c'était un Khmer Krom. Um, uh, qui... Uh, so, a prétendu être bon sculpteur. La question que nous posons est est-ce que Duc a donné l'ordre ou non de punir cette personne ou est-ce que les subordonnés de Duc ont eux-mêmes pris l'initiative de torturer de torturer l'intéressé, puisqu'il s'avère que l'intéressé a bel et bien été torturé. Nous allons savoir si c'était ou non sur les ordres de Duke. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire Réponse. Je n'ai pas vu entendu cet ordre. C'est pourquoi je... Subordinates just that did, ne suis pas sûr que Duke a donné uh, l'ordre à ses subordonnés de le torturer ou que I can les subordonnés ont pris cette initiative d'eux-mêmes. Mais je ne crois pas que les subordonnés de Duke pouvaient torturer on anyone. qui que ce so soit I, I could see that, uh, sans ordre. Et donc j'imagine... Their work, they cowered, uh, uh, you know, like uh, when they, they treated their staff, they would cover the blankets all over their body and walked uh, them away because they were afraid to let us know. I don't know, uh, but uh, que ils I think it les is les just my presumption. The president, uh, I think you probably be le confused. You are the survivor of the regime, and that vous êtes uh, vous-même survivant the, du régime. It is, of course, in your testimony, uh, uh, reflecting your emotion and your et vos émotions en tant story que telles, and how you de votre have suffered, de votre déposition. and also you have. Uh, told us about your wife uh, story, but now we have vous, vous another aussi, uh, matter uh, that we would like femme, to ask about un autre your testimony concerning the accused, accused. Uh, because a uh, witness is not supposed to give a kind of presumption uh, because it is supposé. not really uh, appropriate because in the name of the witness, 
if uh, the question is put to you whether you say that you saw it or you didn't see it, it si you should just say yes or no and uh, please try to avoid uh, giving your resumption or, or your um, some kind of conclusion because the term conclusion is not uh, aimed uh, to be uh, coming from the witness. Response. Réponse. At that time, I'm not sure, so I would like to say that je I don't sûr, know. Donc, uh, je dire But que je ne sais I pas. saw uh, the person was being kicked vu and des beat coups de pied up. À cette I don't know who ordered them to do so. De coups. Je ne sais pas qui a donné the president uh, could uh, the lawyer put uh, for the question. Le président, est-ce que la défense Mr. a d'autres questions à poser? Thank you Mr. Boumeng. Mr. Carsavot, merci monsieur Boumeng. The third question. Voici ma troisième question. When you were arrested uh, all together with your wife uh, from the cooperative to be put à la at a wooden shed uh, in uh, right in front of the, the prison were you en face de la shackled by your ankles? Est-ce que vous étiez euh, enchaîné par la jambe? Response. Réponse. At that time, they treated me better à because they used the very cold method. On m'a mieux traité. Because there were no caps, no chain, no shackles. Chaîne, pas de menotte, they pas misled me. They lied to me. En fait, ils m'ont menti. Because they They did not actually take me to the fine arts school. It was the fine arts school of Tulslang prison. So uh, they cheated on me. I could Et just easily be convinced to uh, uh, climb onto uh, the truck and then be taken away. And then uh, they did not take me to uh, the fine en fait, arts pas school, des beaux arts instead I, we were taken to en fait, on the prison. À la prison. Mr. Kassel, thank you. The reason question. I asked you that la question to confirm your statement, because uh, your statement before the co-prosecutor on the 29 of August 2006, in E R N zero zero four ten fifty five You said uh, you were handcuffed and shackled, both your wife and you. And this morning you said that only your hands were cuffed uh, and that uh, your legs were free from being shackled. Uh, and as you said, uh, you are old and you had been tortured, your memory deteriorating. I think everyone uh, can forget uh, except the God uh, who is able to remember everything. Human being will be uh, forgetful anyway. Thank you. Mr. Karsavut, question number four. Voici ma quatrième question. Your statement before the co-prosecutors and you said later I learned that Devant les co-procureurs, vous avez aussi dit que vous avez I was taken tard. Uh, the prisoners were taken to be executed at days and nights. Do you maintain that your, test, uh, your statement is still confirmed? Le maintenez aujourd'hui? The interpreter uh, responds, Mr. Lawyer. Réponse. I did say that. Uh, that uh, there were trucks who, uh, oui, uh, which uh, 
brought people in and out, but I did not say that they would be taken away to be killed. I didn't say that. Uh, Mr. Hong Kong Soon, could you please uh, repeat the ERN number? Mr. Kasabot, ERN 0014155. 33, the fourth line from uh, down up. Quatrième ligne à partir du bas pour le Khmer. And uh, later on, I learned uh, that they were take carried or taken to be executed at Chiang Ai, and uh, the truck would take them days and nights. That's why I am asking whether you maintain your statement or would you like to change it? Because some witnesses said that they only saw the prisoner uh, being carried away by trucks at night, not during the day times. Thank you. Réponse. When I was detained in building C, Alors que je me I heard the, the sound of the trucks. During the night and days, I don't know whatever other people would uh, testify, but this is what I have heard because there were trucks coming in and going out. I don't know where people would be taken to, but I have heard. Uh, uh, the noises. I did not see the trucks. Je pas vu les I think uh, the trucks uh, would have uh, been parked uh, right in front of the entrance que, uh, to the east or maybe to the west. Let me recall it. Ou peut-être l'entrée ouest. J'essaie de me souvenir. I had been working at the premises for some time. I still cannot remember whether Dual's line uh, entrance uh, would be to the east or to the west. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the trucks would be parking somewhere near the entrance when I was uh, walked into uh, the premises uh, during the first time when we were uh, approaching the location. And again, I did not or I don't know whether people would be taken away to be executed. Thank you, said Mr. Kasabot. Question number five. When leaving S21, with, uh, did you go with uh, Wanat and Chumai or did you go with other people? Could you please recall the people? Response. Réponse. We left with the survivors who were either sculptor, painter, artist. I paint a black and white uh, portrait while Nat uh, paints uh, colored and we have other artists uh, who also left uh, at that time. Parton Chan, Chan So altogether about more than 10 people who would be leaving the location but uh, many of whom um, have died already, including Grandfather Tun. So, I, I of course, uh, left uh, with m several other people. Donc effectivement, and uh, when we reached uh, the, group, the area near Ang Snul, we departed, uh, were separated because séparés, we heard the, the, the sound of the trucks of the United Front Army, uni de salut uh, and then uh, there were exchange of fires between the soldiers, entre and then we were scattered, uh, and I walked across 
National Road Number Four. J'ai traversé la route nationale quatre. Question. Thank you. I just want to know when you left. You left along with Jumai and Vannat. And my next question is. Question suivante. I just want the confirmation. This morning you said when you fled S21. One time you said it was at 6 p.m. And the other time you said at 9 a.m. And when Tisina asked you, you said that you went at about 6 or 7 p.m. So can you tell me exactly what time you left S21? Mr. Defense Counsel, I left Tulsling Prison at nine o'clock. We left the painting workshop and we were ordered to walk straight in one line. We were so fearful, so we walked in one line. And when we reached a house, we stopped and stayed there for quite a while. I cannot recall the location. My base the Beehive radio station. I just want to know the the time. So you said now it's at nine o'clock in the morning. And my seventh question, which Voici is the last question. Et question, when you were painting the portrait, did you ever see Q some pond coming to visit? Rendant visite à S21. Booming. Réponse. Mr. Defense Counsel. I never saw Q some pond coming in. Pond. All those senior people, I never saw them. Even if Pol Pot, I only saw his photo. I never saw him in person. Sometimes people ask whether I saw Pol Pot personally because I painted his portrait. In fact, I never saw him in person. And I also had my portrait uh, painted for a Chinese shop in Shanghai. Thank you, says Castlewood. So when you painted the portrait at the technical Question. school, Donc, did Q Sampon ever go there? Booming, Mr. Defense Counsel. Réponse. I can recall when you asked me that question because I worked there. At that time, I was uh, preparing the numbers of the pages, and Mr. Kirsten Pond asked me, do you have a telephone? And then I told him, and I pointed, oh, the telephone was at the corner because I didn't know that he was Kirsten Pond. But when he left, my work colleague told me that that was Kim Sung Pong, and I felt rather surprised. So now I can recall. Thank you, Mr. Casabot. I have no long, no question, Mr. President. The International Defence Council, if you have a question for Bu Meng, the floor is yours. Mr. Étranger de Mr. Bu Meng, de l'accusé a des questions à poser. Oui, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, de vous donner la parole. Bonsoir, Monsieur Boumain. Monsieur le juge Lavergne a évoqué tout à l'heure le fait que lorsque vous travaillez au service de la propagande du PCK, qui est l'école technique de Rousseau-Keo, which was at the Rousseau Keo, you were somebody who was very obedient. And if I've understood correctly, you indicated that you followed along physically, but not emotionally. Could you please develop this assertion, this idea? Ms. Defense Counsel, the work that was assigned to me by Ha 
to draw sketches of the machine, of the half machine, or of the new spare parts, or the sketches of a vehicle machine, all types of a machinery. I drew all those sketches to include in the in the book for the students to study at that time. My recollection in making uh, that document Je me de for those uh, technical school participants, les de technique. that was what I did. Of course, I obeyed the order Alors, from the upper echelon, and my superior ha assigned me to make or compiled those documents. That is all my answer. Voilà ce que je peux vous répondre. Oui, pourriez vous peut-être nous dire pourquoi émotionnellement vous indiquez ne pas les servir. Je comprends que vous ne répondiez qu'un ordre que vous avez été donné, donc quelque part physiquement vous obéissiez et obéissiez à cet ordre. Mais pourquoi déclarez-vous que vous n'obéissiez pas émotionnellement Let me uh, tell you, Miss Defense Counsel. Physically, Sur ce point, I followed je peux vous dire que physiquement, the assignment and as my skill was in drawing sketches, I just did it. Faire, But faire in my mind, Mais dans mon esprit, I did not have a hundred percent confidence and trust pas, uh, in the leadership. Je pas une and the reason, because I saw people Pourquoi? being Parce evacuated from the city, and the city ville. became like et a ghost la city. Ville est une ville and this is my response to you. Voilà. Ce sera ma dernière Ms. question, Canizares, this will Pourquoi be my last question. So why, therefore, did you continue obeying physically? Boumey, Ms. Defense Council. Réponse. Regarding to my assignment as a painter or a sketch drawer, I hate to do it. I hate to carry out my task. And even if I completed and carry out my task 100%, I was still to be transferred. Et même si je j'exécutais ces tâches à 100%, je pouvais encore être transféré. So. I was transferred to the Thalé Cooperative, and that act made me lost my trust in that regime. Complètement perdu foi dans le régime. En l'état de la réponse, peut-être, Monsieur le Président, vous me permettrez une dernière question très brève. Given the answer, would you please give me the leave for another question? Therefore, can I understand that it was because you were afraid? that you continued obeying physically. I don't really understand your question. Can you ask the question again? Vous nous dites, monsieur, que si vous ne vous exécutiez pas 
that if you do not follow the orders 100% that were given to you, that you could be transferred. So therefore, can I conclude from this answer that it was fear that made you follow 100% the orders that were given to you? In fact, that was the case. Oui, effectivement. Je n'ai plus d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. I no longer have any further questions, says Ms. Canizares. President. Le Président. The hearing of the testimony of the survivor Boumain, Boumain, that has been de S21. for the whole day has now come to an end. And before I adjourned the hearing, the Chamber would like de la to inform avant de lever le temps, les parties that uh, the Chamber has a schedule for tomorrow's hearing. According to the planned schedule, que la chambre, conformément au calendrier arrêté, the Chamber will hear a testimony of a survivor, un autre CP1 slash 6. CP1 However, due to the time calculation and the fact that that survivor Toutefois, was involved, la répartition du the temps. duration of the testimony would be not more than half a day, témoin. or just a little bit of over half a day. Therefore, the chamber decides de to invite another survivor, E2 slash 80, if there is remaining et, et time de temps de main, left, then we would hear E2 the testimony 80. of this standby survivor, E2 slash 80 from the civil party e group 3. So this uh, amendment of the schedule is voilà, as donc, I've uh, described. Une modification du calendrier and prévu. in fact, the E2 6 1 was to schedule after the survivor, CP16. However, due to the uh, distance of the long residence, and that uh, we do not hold a hearing on the Thursday and Friday, then we decided to make this change. And now, today's hearing is adjourned. Nous en avons ainsi terminé and the chamber will resume tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. as scheduled. Comme prévu. Court officer, Je demande à please make necessary arrangements for Mr. Boumain to Boumain return to his residence by appropriate means, by working in coordination with VISU, uh, security officers, take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back here before 9 a.m. The court is adjourned.